right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. Thank you so much for joining me again for another vlog. For those of you not aware, or maybe you're new to my channel, about once a week every Thursday, I do a very, very long vlog video where we talk about a lot of stuff, including some vape gear. I do some shout outs and some viewer mail. Uh, I usually talk about beer and I used to talk about music, but for some reason I've got out of the habit of talking about music and I don't think I have any music planned for this vlog. Let me get out my vlog notes. Um, we're going to do some beer first. We're going to do some shout outs. I got a bunch of first impressions. Hopefully we can wrap it up with the viewer mail, but let's, mm, let's get this vlog rolling. So first things first, hello and welcome. This is the vlog. <laughs> I kind of already covered that. First thing up on my, uh, on my schedule is that it's freezing cold here. It's almost winter here, it's October, and so I'm into this flannel shirt thing so that I can stay warm. I like wearing flannel shirts. I have a couple flannel shirts I really like wearing. Kind of pairs well with the whole shit kicker and everything that's going on uh, and my clutch trucker hat. So I feel uh, I feel good. I feel like it's winter and I'm gonna uh, enjoy it uh, here while I can before it gets too cold. But first up, apart from the weather, Whenever there's nothing to talk about, we talk about the weather. Um, first thing I want to talk about is beer. That's right, beer. I'm a big beer fan, and this beer I just picked up uh, at my local place, Aloha Liquor. I was over there uh, beer shopping, which is why else would you go into a liquor store but to go beer shopping? And I saw that Ninkasi, Ninkasi Brewery had an Oktoberfest. This is the Feist Beer Lager. I don't know very much about this, but I am a pretty big fan of uh, the, the beers that Ninkasi has released. I've tried their Vanilla Otis and their Regular Otis, and they were both uh, quite nice. So we're going to dive into this Ninkasi Oktoberfest Feist Beer Lager. Um, there you go. Bye-bye. You go away now. So real quick, uh, let me look at... Oh, it's, I don't even have it up. Let's search for Ninkasi Oktoberfest Feist Beer. The Feist Beer Lager. So it's got an 85% on Beer Advocate. Seems to be pretty well received. People score it pretty well. Uh, this one guy who's a Seahawks fan. Huh, three and a half out of five. I bought a six pack at my grocery store. Uh, Teos Mildly Sweet, Earthy Wet Leaves, Vegetable Flavor, flavor a Mildly Bitter Finish. Mouthfeel is thin and a little flat. Overall, a decent fall seasonal, but not the best Oktoberfest I've ever had. Well, I'm not expecting this to be the best Oktoberfest that I've ever had. I'm just expecting it to be delicious, and that's what I'm looking for is a delicious Oktoberfest beer. Because it's October, we're getting to the end of October. We're getting to, uh, you know, Halloween time. How's that for a head, Ruby Roo? I'm going to drink through this like a man. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Ninkasi Oktoberfest. Feist Beer Lager. Here's to ya. Yeah, I mean, it tastes, uh, uh, it's okay. It's not great. It's not amazing. I mean, I'm going to drink it because I want to drink it because I paid for it. Um, probably wouldn't buy this again. Eh, that sucks. That sucks. Well, Ninkasi, you can't knock them all out of the park. It's okay. It's a very sort of boring Oktoberfest beer. It's very slightly uh, it's very slightly sweet. The mouthfeel is is a little thin, but it's an easy to drink beer. It's not super complex. Um, I get into these phases where all I want is like super complex stouts and like Firestone beers and uh, this is kind of a nice change of pace. It's a nice golden amber sort of color on there. I like it. I mean, I'm going to drink it. It's not uh, it's not like blowing me away with Oktoberfestness, but uh, it's nice. A nice cold Oktoberfest beer on a nice cold October night. It's good. It's good. It's good. So while we're consuming that, we're going to move forward into some shout outs. And just a quick note about shout outs, friends. Um, the amount of shout out requests I get is... Uh, mind-boggling it is staggering it is uh upwards into the 20 or 30 shout out requests every single day and so i do my best uh to shout people out that i desire to shout out um as it stands i have uh, a whole folder in my nick at grimgreen.com email 
where I just store uh, shout out requests and uh, people ask for shout outs on Facebook and so then I have to like copy and paste it into an email and then email it to myself and then put it in that folder. It's kind of this this whole big long process but you know people people want shout outs or people ask for shout outs for their dad or for their wife or for their girlfriend or for their dog or you know things like that and so I do my best to do shout outs. Um, there were a couple of shout outs that I wanted to do. Um, Daniel, fella named Daniel. Uh, just, I just, I'm just going to shout out his Facebook group real quick. He created it about a month ago. Uh, it's a closed group, uh, so unfortunately, you would have to ask to join. Um, but anyway, his group on Facebook, Daniel, called the Cloud Monkeys. Here's to you. Shout out to the Cloud Monkeys on Facebook. Sounds like they have a pretty cool group there. It sounds like Daniel's having a lot of fun over there. Obviously, uh, yeah, absolutely, Daniel. Feel free to post whatever pictures of mine or YouTube videos of mine that you want to uh, in, your, uh, in your Cloud Monkeys group. So there you go, buddy. Uh, let's see, what is TVB? Hey, dude, I love your channel and the work you do. Uh, you were the one that started me on e-cigs and mods and now RDAs and mechs. I've got a channel dedicated to Scottish vapors, but I was wondering if you could check out my channel. Robin, are we going to check out his channel? No? Wow. Jeez. <laughs> sorry, dude. Uh, the bearding, the beardsman vaping? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Robin said that I am not allowed to... Uh, to check out your channel, which is, you know what? You don't tell me what to do, Robin. I don't listen to you. I just need you to tell me what's in the news. Uh, the vaping beardsman, the vaping beardsman. Um, yeah. Oh, hey, he's wearing a flannel shirt. Oh, and he's Scottish and he's got hipster glasses. I like this guy. I like you vaping beardsman. <laughs> so yeah, he does, uh, he does reviews that I haven't watched yet. This is the first thing I'm checking. Uh, Nemesis review. He did review the Nemesis. Is this a clone? I'm not even sure. Nemesis review, the vaping beardsman. Uh, he's got a techno-y dance, dance number intro here. It's a little long. You got a long intro, buddy. Intro is a little bit on the long side. I'm going to say that it's long. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Long intro. 25 seconds already. Got to keep those intros under 10 seconds. That's just my professional YouTube opinion. Keep your intro short. Or don't have an intro at all. 38 seconds, 39, 40 seconds long. Let's hear a Scottish accent. Today, guys, um, I'm going to be doing a you know? vape mail slash unboxing. unboxing. He sounds a lot like Todd. Um, haven't checked out his reviews, but why not? I'll give you a shout out. I'll post a link to your YouTube in the description if people want another Scottish, uh, another Scottish, uh, you know, other than Todd, which is Todd is Todd is great. I just love Todd. But uh, yeah, I'll post a link in the description to the vaping beardsman over there uh, in Scotland. Um, I thought I had a couple more shout outs that I wanted to do. Oh, Ted. So, okay. So Ted, the vaping vet, um, his YouTube got into and he lost, he basically got his YouTube and Gmail deleted. Um, so he started a new channel. Uh, I don't know if anybody was following Ted, the vapor vet, Ted, the vapor vets, one of my favorite people on earth and I will never pass up an opportunity to shout him out. Um, but he has started a new YouTube, um, which I'll link to in the description, but just, be careful of your passwords. Change your passwords uh, regularly. I change my Nick at Grim Green pa email password uh, constantly. Basically, every month it gets it gets changed just in case you know there's there's shady people out there. Um, oh, this one. This one is good. This is going to be a good shout out. And it, it appears. See, he didn't send me a link to his friggin' YouTube channel. He didn't send me a link to his goddamn YouTube channel. Oh, you jerk. You're not a jerk. Um, I was kind of uh, really taken back and surprised when this person emailed me. Um, but if anybody grew up in, uh, you know, when, when were these guys around? I guess it was the 80s, like the late 80s. You might remember a hip-hop group. And, and hip-hop wasn't my thing. And it's never really 
been my thing. I'm more of a metal guy, as everybody knows. But there was a hip-hop group back in the 80s named The Fat Boys. Does this ring a bell for anybody? The Fat Boys? No? Maybe? Yeah? It does? Robin? Fat Boys? What do you know? So yeah, The Fat Boys. So, okay, here's a link to his YouTube. It's on his Instagram. Um, he has... <laughs> Prince Marky D of the Fat Boys and of the uh, of the Florida radio, uh, uh, you know, DJ. He has uh, he has a radio show Tuesday through Saturday nights in Florida, ninety nine Jams Radio, Miami. It's the Prince Marky D show, and I knew who he was right when I emailed him. In fact, my supervisor at work, who is like super eighties aficionado, he knew exactly who Prince Marky D was. So get it, Prince Marky D, he started a YouTube channel. He talks about vaping on the air and he just shoots YouTube videos like from his radio announce booth. So here's one up, the Prince Marky D show on YouTube. My favorite tanks, 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 and more tanks. And he's just hanging out in his radio station uh shooting uh shooting vape videos yeah baller um someday someday prince marky d i'm gonna come down to florida i'm gonna come down to miami and we're gonna hang out we're gonna hang out on the radio and talk about vaping and get uh get everybody in florida vaping but yeah i'll post a link in the description of course to his youtube channel prince marky d the fat boys does anybody remember the fat boys i wasn't into the fat boys Let's see what their uh, Wikipedia says. Yes, the Fat Boys. Uh, they were uh, an American hip-hop group from Brooklyn, New York City that emerged in the 1980s. Briefly, the group was known as the Disco 3. That's, see, that's what you should have called yourself there, Prince Marky D. You should have called yourself Prince Marky D and the Disco 3. That would have been... Uh, that would have been super cool. But yeah, so strange. Uh, very, very random email from Mr. Prince Marky D. We've exchanged a few emails. And uh, he, he's a really super nice, cool guy. And now he's doing vape videos in addition to his uh, to his radio program on 99 Jams Radio in Miami, Florida, Tuesday through Saturday nights. Um, you can also follow him on Instagram. I'll post a link in the description to his Instagram as well. I think, I think that may wrap it up for shout outs so uh just so you know in the future uh obviously feel feel free to email me or you you know uh, facebook message me and say hey maybe you could give a shout out to this maybe you could give a shout out to me to the store to my dad to my girlfriend to my dog to my stormtrooper helmet and i i promise i will do my best to keep track of shout outs as it stands my uh my shout out queue is super super full uh, it's just one of those things. People people like shout outs, and you know what? I like shouting people out, and that usually takes up the first uh, you know fifteen minutes or so. But fifteen minutes or so of the show. <laughs> oh, sorry, Sheik. Sorry, I have this one subscriber. Uh, Sheik hates it when I burp. He just hates it. He and he only comments when I burp, and he always says something like, "Burps make Sheik sad." And so I, I apologize to you, Sheik. He does he does rock the Grim Army logo in his uh, in his avatar. So I have to kind of try to be accommodating to the Sheik, and I apologize for for burping so much. But now we have a lot of first impressions to talk about. Uh, let's go into first impressions time. You know, the more I drink this uh, Oktoberfest, the more I enjoy it. It does have kind of like a like a herbally. Uh, kind of component to it. It kind of reminds me of like garden herbs, like uh, like spices, I guess, like Octobery. I don't know, like pumpkiny spices, not pumpkiny, but like some some kind of along those lines, like garden herbs. It's good. I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm drinking it. Obviously, first things up on the first impressions. I have a mech mod right here. Now, uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this and how very nicely cleanly made this box is so this comes from my vapes and i don't think they have a name for it i was looking at their facebook earlier sorry chic and uh let's see if i can find it my vapes yeah it's just they they make a mech box mod 
It's a box mod that's a mech. And I'll post a link in the description um, to their YouTube or to their YouTube, to their Facebook. They got all sorts of pictures. Um, it's a mech mod, okay? And I'm gonna read really quick uh, some of the letter that uh, Mr. Mike sent me. Um, so this is a mech mod. There's nothing regulated about this. It's an unregulated mech mod. It uses two 18650s on the inside, and I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see this, but the door panel is damn near seamless. Like this is the door, and then you just go, oh, boom, right there. There's a ribbon that's a very accommodating ribbon. It doesn't get in my way like the Segeli 100 watt. Got two 30 amp E-Fest 18650s in there, and this just just held on my magnets, and it's very, no, I mean, no rattling, no nothing. The batteries don't move, the batteries don't wobble, the door doesn't move, the door doesn't wobble, and you can kind of see this little indent right here. Do you see this, like, little indent right there? That's where you place your finger, and you just go, and the door comes off, and it snaps back on. Um, I have been uh, having a bit of a love affair with this since it's arrived. But he says, uh, my name is Mike and I have a small box mod company called My Vapes. I would like for you to have one of my one of our My Boxes. Okay, so it's called the My Box. I started out building uh, my own custom box mods three years ago and now we are in full swing. My box is 95% handmade from plexiglass. Plexi, plexiglass. Really? It almost has like a, a 3D printed feel to it, like a very sanded down 3D printed feel to it. It's so clean on the inside. Let me pop these batteries out and show you like, holy crap, how super clean. Is that going to pick up on camera? No, it's not. Oh, you can see my screen. It's just, uh, it's just super, super clean on the inside. The springs are wicked strong. Uh, I popped my batteries in here perfectly, popped the door on, and it was fantastic. Um, we put a lot of time and pride into these boxes. They are unregulated dual 18650s with a 195 amp MOFSET protected 16 millimeter switch. That is crazy. So that means that your switch won't burn out if you're running like super sub ohms because it can handle up to 195 amps MOFSET protected 16 millimeter switch. The 510s we have were made for us. They are great quality. Uh, they are silver plated brass with a Delrin insulator. The battery springs are also made for us and they are silver plated beryllium. Beryllium copper. The battery door is held on by eight magnets inside and the inside is raw with 14 AWG solid copper wire. You can find us on Facebook at MyVapes. I do have a website coming, but you can see more on our Facebook page. 195 amp MOFSET protected switch. So this is a uh, 0.15 ohm coil on here on this. This is the Oriya by Orion. So real quick, the Oriya by Orion, the Orion by Oriya is uh, kind of becoming one of my favorite atomizers. I absolutely love the airflow on it. I love that it's actually adjustable by uh, by twisting the top you can open it up close it down I know exactly where I like it and it's a solid solid performer now I'll show you some video of this but the deck itself is very very strange you have to build these weird vertical coils with these long legs that come off of the positive and negative you have to wick it vertically and I wick it so that the cotton goes over the top so when you drip you're dripping down onto the cotton and that will in turn go down to the coils um, the airflow on it is nice. I just rewicked it today, and that's the video footage that you're that you're just saw or are seeing currently. And uh, the performance has been fan freaking tastic. Uh, it's 0.15 ohms, uh, so it's kind of in the wicked sub ohm area. But I have EFS 30 amp batteries in here, and uh, I know the switch can handle it. Holy crap, it hits, it hits great. And this combination, I am just having a love affair right now because the video is not, you can't appreciate this, 
how clean this is, how soft the edges are, how soft the material is. You don't feel the door, you don't feel anything but the button. Now the 510 uh, connection in here is recessed a little bit. It's kind of got a little bit of a juice well in there, but you can screw this down. This is a 22 millimeter atomizer. Oh, it just glides in there. Did you see that? Let me show you one more time. Oh, it just spins and glides in there, makes a nice connection, and uh, oh, it's just great. It's just great. I'm just having a great time with this mod right now. For those of you listening on SoundCloud, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just vaping. I'm just vaping some clouds, bro. No big deal. Um, really, really enjoying this. Obviously, I will report back later with a full-on YouTube video for this to see how it holds up in the real world. I've really only had this for about a day now, but it's been every time I grab for a mod, I grab for this one. Remember how once upon a time, every time I grab for a mod, I grab for my Duke. Just no matter what, I was like, oh. Obviously, I'm going to vape my Duke. This. Obviously, I'm going to vape this. I plan on taking this everywhere with me. This is a staple now in my life. I need some new 18650s as well. Um, going to use this. Going to use this. Really, really enjoying it. Loving it. Loving the donut pounder. Just pounding donuts for days. Um, next up that I wanted to talk about, now I may not do a full review for this mod because this mod wasn't sent to me with the intention of actually like reviewing the mod. It was more for the graphics that are on it. So um, where is he? Where are you? Oh no, you fell in the trash. Don't fall in the trash. Where are you? I like it when, uh, when vendors send notes. Uh, sending notes, take note vendors. Send a note. Just type up a bunch of shit so I can keep it for future reference. It's a fantastic thing. He says, uh, uh, this comes from Joshua. Mr. Joshua, glad we could meet at ECC. Thank you again for your reviews. This is the Stormtrooper patinaed flagship mod that I showed you at ECC. My apologize for not seeing you on Saturday. You don't have to apologize for that. On Saturday, I was all over the place. Uh, I'm giving you this in person. I ended up completely redoing it. The mouth is more distinct. The lines are cleaner now. Your mod is yours to keep. And a big thank you for everything you've done for the community. If you want any other mods patinaed, please let me know. Um, my company, Quantum Vape, not Quantum Vapor, Quantum Vape, I'll give you some bullet points. QuantumVape.com. We retail and wholesale. Patinas are completed in roughly two days. We have seven different finishes to choose from. Finishes can be customized in any way. Uh, photos throughout the entire process. Make sure that you are happy with it. Prices are around 20 to 30 bucks. So if you have like a nemesis or a mod of some sort, you can get it patinaed. Just patinaed or patinaed with whatever you want for 20 to 30 bucks. Fuck, that's cool as hell. Uh, I'm adding DIY videos and step-by-steps instructions and supplies next month. Clear coat is good for one or six months, depending on the use. Um, so the flagship itself, 22 millimeter, spring-loaded copper contacts, floating, very kind of very standard uh, mech mod. It's a nice mech mod, but that's not what I like about it. Um, I'll post the link in the description to... Nope. There were a few in there. There were a few in there. I've been watching Kylie Vapes videos and uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, pretty sure I'm terrible at that still. So last up, not last up. Holy crap. I have more to talk about. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be a long vlog. So tuck in, grab a beer if you have it, uh, or grab any other libation that you might uh, be so interested in. Maybe, a, maybe a Manhattan. Mm, Manhattans are good. I could go for Manhattan right now. Hmm. So I have one more mod to talk about before I start talking about the Panzers. I want to talk about Panzers, but first I want to talk about this. Look at this monster. This came from uh, this came in from Beyond Vape, and this is the Brass Monkey 26650 with a matching Tobe style 26650 atomizer on top. Um, it's been great. It's so it's so big. Uh, that's what she said, and it's so beefy. And I believe I said this in. I believe I said this in uh, what was the last the the blaze the guns blazing mod that if you're gonna get a twenty six six fifty, then 
it's going to be big and you're going to have to put a 26650 in there. This is huge. Let's compare it just real quick. Uh, look at that. Look how much bigger this 26650 is than that flagship. But it's been great. It's been solid. The button is a nice, nice and springy button. It's almost like the perfect resistance, like the perfect switch on this mod. Full open, the atomizer is, uh, is super airy. What I actually end up doing, I don't like really airy atomizers, so full open, I'm not a fan. You lose a lot of flavor, but you gain vapor. So what I do is I end up closing it just a touch, and you're not gonna be able to see. Oh yeah, you can kinda see. I end up closing it just, uh, mm, just a little bit. I like to get a little bit more flavor and I like a slightly a slightly more restricted airflow and I know there's a lot of atomizers out there like the dark horse that's really airy if you want it to be and like the dog or the dog that's really airy like but this one is really airy but you can close it down a little bit. Gives you a little bit better flavor, gives you a little bit more resistance. I feel like I get, uh, obviously, a much stronger throat hit. I'm a fan of the throat hits. If you're not a fan of throat hit, then go as airy as possible. But I like throat hit, and I like that feeling of, of the vapor going down my throat. That's what she said? I don't know. But the performance has been, uh, has been great. Let me show you what build. This is just a... Holy crap, there's the deck. It's starting to get brown around the edges. Let me be that guy again and just zoom in like crazy. Can you see that? Are you seeing it? Nope. Yeah, there it is. There's the build I did. It's just 24 gauge wrapped six times. It's a, it's a good little build and it produces... A, Produces a nice little amount of vapor there, and uh, <clears throat> I don't want to say that the uh, the chamber in here isn't exactly reduced. Um, it's rounded on top on in, on the inside there, and so it, it's nice. You get some nice flavor if you have the the airflow holes closed. Ugh, just about like a quarter of the way. The mod itself is really heavy and beefy. It's got this locking ring on here, which just glides. just glides um, once again this is kind of one of those buttons that's flush on the bottom so I don't find myself using it right now I have shit let's go to the beyond vape site because it comes with three friggin tubes uh, it's 185 bucks which you know what I mean Vape budget hands but it does come with three tubes stainless steel copper and brass I am using the brass one right now I was really looking forward to using the stainless steel one because it's black, but the finish on it is that of a chalkboard, and I just uh, I just cannot use it. And uh, I just picked the brass one because I like the way it looks. I might switch it over to the copper one as well. Obviously, I'll use the stainless steel one as well. Back up when I you know when I follow up with a full video, but the stainless steel finish, ugh, oh my god, I can't even hold the tube. I can't even look at the tube without cringing. But. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Brass Monkey. Big old RDA on there, and you don't have to use this rebuildable atomizer. In fact, does it even come with this rebuildable atomizer? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so for $185, bucks, you are getting a 26650 mod and a 26650 size rebuildable atomizer with adjustable airflow, heat sink on top. Shoot, that's pretty freaking good. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. You know what? Beyond Vape, they're doing something right. They're having good stuff. But yeah, Brass Monkey, been enjoying it. Uh, obviously, I will report back later on with a full, full, full YouTube video for this. And once again, for those of you listening on SoundCloud, I'm just, uh, I'm just vaping some clouds, just blowing clouds. Let's have another uh, drink of the Ninkasi before I get into the Panzer stuff. Mmm. 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 It's getting better. I like it. I think it was too cold when I took it out of the fridge. And that's the thing with beers. You can't drink it too cold. Um, a lot of people are really into, like, ice-cold beer, like Coors, where the can tells you that it's cold. 
really like 52, 53 degrees is like the perfect temperature for for good beer, for craft beer. And uh, this is getting better as it slightly warms up. Mm-hmm. So the last thing I want to talk about during this first impressions segment is the Panzer. So I've never done a review on the Panzer, but I've had a Panzer and there's no real reason. But by the time I got, by the time I got a Panzer, um, it was kind of too little too late. It was like I got a Panzer and then I went on YouTube and I saw that everybody else already had a Panzer video. So I'm like, well, maybe I'm not going to do a Panzer video, but I would like to talk about the Panzer video. I, I still think the Panzer is a, is a relevant mech mod. It was, it was very, very popular for a long time and I still feel like it's a really good mech mod. And you might be shocked to find out that I have three authentic Panzers and a clone. So, uh, with that in mind, on the next vlog, I'm hoping to do a really big Thanksgiving type of giveaway. We'll have more on that in the next vlog, though. Uh, that will include uh, at least one, if not two, of these Panzers. But, you might be surprised to find out that I have three authentic Panzers and one clone Panzer. And I got the clone Panzer first, and I was kind of like, uh, Like, eh, I'm not, uh... I'm not really into this, pardon me, at all. I liked, I liked the feel of it, and I liked the button on it, and I liked this, the, the locking feature on it. What I didn't like is that the clone Panzer has this shit top cap where you can't adjust the 510, and that's really what separates the Panzer clone from the other Panzer. So I have an authentic, you know, silver Panzer here, and this came from... Uh, Grand Vapor Station out of the Bay Area. Do you see this on the Panzer? Do you see how that center pin is floating? That is a floating adjustable center pin. So no matter what you put on here, be it tugboat, tobe, or patriot, it can sit flush on there. And then you adjust for battery rattle with this little screw right there and that's the that's the panzer this is the authentic stainless steel panzer the throw on it is a touch stiffer than the clone the clone just feels like nothing like you're pressing it and it's just nothing it's like goo it's got the weakest spring in there the spring ooh a little bit more stiff the button just feels like butter like you're not even like it's just so smooth and the locking ring it just it just spins and it's so smooth and I've never got it stuck in the up or down position. I also, in addition to that, uh, Grand Vapor Station sent along the Golden Army Panzer, which is a brass Panzer. It's got that same just delicious button, that same locking ring that just glides. It's got that same center pin that is completely floating completely floating and you adjust it but you know you adjust for battery rattle with this little screw you can knock this down to a smaller size as well if you wanted to use like an 18 uh, what battery would fit in here I don't think I've ever really tried let's get out this and this let's get these out I think it's this one yeah so you can you, whoops hi you can use a really small little 18350 battery in there. Whoa, look at that. Look at this tiny little Panzer. But you could build like a one ohm coil on there. Oh, look at that. Look at this tiny little Golden Army Panzer. Look at it. Look at it. It's tiny. It's a tiny little Panzer. And then you put this, you know, you put this back on. And you can switch it up. Boom just like that. This is supposed to be at the bottom, that's supposed to be at the top, but it doesn't matter because it all works. The Panzer is a good and relevant mech mod still. So most recently, Joy, who runs MCV, um, and I'll post a link in the description to, uh, to their Facebook, which is Masterpiece Custom Vapes from the Philippines. So Joy, he sent me a, even though I've never done a review for his mod, he still sent me this. So this is a copper Panzer Tiger. So there was the Panzer, which is the stainless steel. There was the Black Hawk, which I have a shitty clone of. There was the Golden Army, which was brass. And now they have the copper one, which is called the Tiger. So I've been rocking it with my Tobe and then a Chuff clone on top. Oh, it's just a good mech mod. I love 
love love love the button it's not like the super clean smooth lines that i like like if you compare it to this brass monkey see how these are just clean lines remember the old gnome the gnome mech mod that was just clean all the way through this one it's got a little bit of features it's got a little bit of character to it it's been great um it's been great It's just been really great, and it's a really great mech mod. Um, if you're in the market for a mech mod, I would highly recommend looking at the Panzer. Even though I've never done a review for the Panzer, it's consistently been something that I've been using, whether it's the regular Panzer, the Golden Army, or now this, this copper one, this Panzer Tiger. comes right out of the Philippines, so you know it's going to be good quality. The spring is great. The adjustability is decent. Overall, I've really enjoyed using this, and the Panzer is kind of going to be one of those mech mods that I just always have around. Like, I just like using it. It's kind of like the Nemesis. Like, you don't see me use the Nemesis a lot, but I do use the Nemesis a lot. It might not end up on pictures on Instagram, and it might not end up on video, but the Nemesis is one of those go-to mech mods that I've always really liked. The Panzer has definitely become one of those go-to mech mods that I just really, really like using. So shout out to Joy and MCV Masterpiece Custom Vapes. I'll post a link in the description to their YouTube. But yeah, the Panzer is out there. Uh, I would not, 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 not not recommend the clone uh, at all. At least the clone that I got, I think this came from Angel Sigs. And it's a junky clone, man. Even when compared to the original, like the, the quality of it, you can't even, I mean, it's, it's like night and day. And even the ability to have that floating 510 top cap is really just uh, fantastic. And I'm not going to talk about these chuff uh, clones, I guess, or homages. I'm not really sure. I seem to have got a bunch of them in the mail recently. Fusion. Uh, where are you, sir? Yes. Fusion Mods sent some. As well as Fifth. District 5. <laughs> so District 5 has their kind of version of the chuff top cap. Uh, Fusion Mods has their version of the Chuff top cap. Obviously, I'm a big Chuff fan. If I could get these for every atomizer just for dripping purposes, it would be fantastic. This one happens to fit on the Tobe. It's not quite like a super tight fit. It's a little bit uh, just kind of sits there. But it's great for dripping, and if you don't mind putting a big thing in your mouth, that's what she said. Then, uh, then certainly something like this is for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till next week to talk about all these chuff replicas. I guess we can call them that I got. Uh, obviously, I'm obviously I'm loyal to chuff. I don't want to say I'm a chuff enough fanboy, but I have met the dude on several occasions, and he's so fucking cool. And I like that he kind of did this first, and it was uh, inevitable that it was going to get cloned and reproduced, um, but I still like Chuff, and I, 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 I kind of want to be loyal to Chuff, even though I'm using a non-Chuff uh, Chuff top. So it is what it is, and I'm going to wait until next week to talk about those. Great, 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 great. Never felt better. Um, Love the Tobe as well. Haven't never, and I've never done a review of the Tobe. I've never done a review of the Tobe, but the Tobe is just fantastic. It's just a, oh, it's just a really good atomizer. This is one of those atomizers that has never left my arsenal. Like the tugboat and the Tobe, those are rad. Those are those are what I use. Those are what I build on. Now that Orion, oh, it's good. It is really good. And there's some other atomizers that have come and gone that I've never really been super, super impressed with that are okay, that they're good. But man, the tugboat and the Tobe have like stayed staples in my vaping arsenal. Um, that's the last of that I have to talk about. 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Let's do some viewer mail. Viewer mail. Oh man, you know, I kind of forgot how much I love menthol juices. Once upon a time, this is this is going back in time to like 2008, 2009. Um, whoops! Come on now, Nick, get your get yourself together. I left that battery in there. 
Good job, Nick. This is going back to like 2009, 2010 time in vaping. I just loved menthols. Like all I vaped was menthols. One of my favorite juices came from the Vaporcast store and it was called, men, what was it called? Menthol? What was their menthol? What was the Vaporcast store menthol? I bet they still have a store. Vaporcaststore.com. Nope. Vape. Let's look for Vaporcast. Vaporcaststore.com. Yes, it does. It still exists. I am over 18. Uh, no, not Niquid. Vaporcast collection. Uh, what was the name of their menthol? And I know you're all shouting it at your screen right now, but I can't think of what it is. What was the name of their menthol? They had one menthol that was like the best menthol on earth. Pro sauce? Pro sauce? No. Where the hell did your menthol go, guys? I can't believe I can't remember the name of this menthol. It was my favorite thing of all time. Cappuccino, clove, coffee, cotton candy, dragon fruit, fruit stripe. What happened to their menthol? They used to have synthol. And they used to have a straight up menthol flavor. Smooth blend? Pro sauce? Prothol. Prothol. It was called Prothol. God, I loved Prothol. I used to be such a menthol guy. And I loaded up that tobe with the glacier banana and I kind of forgot how much menthol is in that, but it's quite, quite delicious. I just used to love menthol and uh, I, I I still love menthol. And that, that, uh, that glacier banana was hitting me, scratching me right where I itch. All right, Steven or Stefan, uh, first viewer mail of the night. What's up, man? I found you on YouTube. Good stuff. I've been vaping for a little over a year. You know the deal. Disposables, e-cig kit, finally an Ego C, Kanger Pro Tank. Trying to get your opinion on a Vamo version 5 or a Tesla variable voltage mods. I will probably buy the kit if I get either and stay with my Pro Tank 3. What do you recommend? Here's what I recommend to you. While both highly decent mods, the Vamo version 5 and the Tesla ugh, are slightly, slightly outdated. Um, the Tesla was a great mod and I absolutely loved using it, but today there's a lot kind of better variable voltage and variable wattage mods out there. Uh, there are clones of the HANA mod, which are shockingly good. There are also... Uh, DNA 20 and DNA 30 devices. Now, if you're sticking with a Kanger Pro Tank 3, I might suggest looking into something like the iTaste SVD version 2 that's coming out. Now, it's a little bit uh, big. It's a little bit wonky. It's a little bit big, but it does come with an authentic DNA 20 on the inside. It uses an 18650 battery. DNA 20. If you're rocking a Kanger Pro Tank like I am rocking this Aspire Nautilus, it could be absolutely what you're looking for. Hmm. That could even use some more wattage on there. But yeah, I would suggest looking at the iTaste SVD version. Two. It's kind of a wonky, not wonky. I don't want to say it's wonky. It's just that I'm not used to tube mods anymore. And this is an 18650 variable wattage up to 20 watts tube mod. So yes, I would suggest looking at this probably over the Vamo version 5 or over the Tesla. Answered this via vlog will be up Thursday. Smiley face. See, that's, that's what I send to people who I answer them via vlog. Uh, got uh, some more viewer mail here. This comes from Hella Megix. <laughs> First of all, hello from Dallas. Love the show. Lots of good and entertaining antics. <laughs> Uh, I was wanting to get more information about sub-ohm vaping. I know this comes up often with cloud chasers going from 0.3 to 0.2 ohms, and most resources I find are for that. My inspiration for vaping is one of my coworkers whose builds are running at 0.04 and 0.06. Ugh. So what I really want to know uh, is what specialized knowledge would I need to advance to a 0.2 ohm towards that point. I personally, here's what, here's what I'm going to say to you, Clay. Um, don't go that low. Just don't. And tell your buddy to knock it off. Don't go to zero, 0.04. That's like a fraction of an ohm. Don't, 
don't do it. Just don't do it. Um, you can get just as good of a vape, just as warm of a vape, rocking like a 0 0.2 or a 0 0.3 or a 0 0.4 ohm coil. You don't need to go into the fractions of, of ohms. You just don't need to do it. I know that people do it. I've never done it. I vaped on shit that's done it, but I've never been really that impressed and I feel so unsafe while doing it. So if we click over to vapecalc.com, which is basically what I use for all of it, for all of my, so let's say he's doing, what was that, 0 0.02? What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, 0.4. Okay, so he's doing 0 0.04. God, and let's say he's got a freshly charged battery and let's be generous and say he's getting 4.1 volts. Holy crap, that is 420 watts at 102 amps. As far as I know, there is no 102 amp battery in existence. So even if he was rocking, let's say 0 0.06, 0 0.06, Oh my God, that's still 280 watts, 68 amps. There are no 68 amp batteries um, that exist uh, in the world. So just don't do it. Just knock it off. Alternatively, you can go 0 0.2, right? 4.1 volts, perfect. 84 watts, a lot more reasonable, 20 amps. All you need to do is get some 30, 35 amp batteries you will be safe to vape on a 0 0.2 ohm coil. I would not, 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 not recommend getting into the fractions of ohms where you run 0 0.04 or 0 0.06. I would just suggest, uh, I would just suggest not doing that in any capacity. Last one comes from Nick. Oh no, okay. Uh, apparently I already answered him. Santiago, hey, I have a question. I just bought an AC9 Genesis style atomizer. A long time ago last week, I stupidly broke the center post. I live in Mexico and I have not found a replacement of it, neither in Mexico nor in America. A friend of mine told me that he thinks the AC9 is no longer on sale. It's not. I just wanted to know if you know of a store where I could buy the AC9 center post. I'd really appreciate it. Well, if you like the AC9, uh, it is no longer for sale from what I've seen. But... There are clones of the AC9. In fact, you can Google AC9 atomizer clone. And I'm not a, you know, whatever. Clones, they are what they are. It doesn't even matter. Um, AC9 clone, you can get it for $23. So you don't have to buy a brand new AC9 or an AC9 center pin. In fact, the AC9 clone center pin may actually work in your uh you know what just buy an rsst that's the clone of the ac9 what am i thinking get a smoke tech rsst just go buy a smoke tech rsst and you'll be good in fact if you how do i ship to mexico i might even have an ac9 uh atomizer that i can just send you um so email me santiago i do have an ac9 you know what I i'll just get rid of it i'll just send it to you i'm not sure how the shipping to mexico works but i will just send it to you no big deal in fact i think i have a brand new smoke tech rsst as well that i can send you no big deal um there you go so let's wrap this up because i don't want this to run super 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 long we did a lot we talked about shout outs and how to get shout outs you can always uh bribe me uh, I do accept bribes, absolutely. I am a crooked, uh, crooked YouTube uh, personality reviewer guy. Um, you can send me beer. Um, I do accept uh, atomizers. No, I'm just kidding. You cannot bribe me. Um, did some first impressions. The My Vapes box. Oh, the My Vapes box. You're gonna sit right here so I can vape you at the end. Uh, the flagship patina mod. Uh, from Quantum Vape, uh, the Brass Monkey from Beyond Vape, and then just Panzer Love everywhere. We also did some viewer mail. So thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, double feature will be going on next week. Not even sure what I'm going to hit up. Maybe the Oros, maybe the Zombie. Uh, I don't know what else I have. The Red Horse 26650, which one's giving me some problems lately. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff, <laughs> just silly amounts of stuff coming up, but, uh, but that's what I got. As always, I, I want to thank you for tuning in and watching this whole vlog. And if you stuck to the end, then this is for you. 
But that's what I got. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, let's keep on vaping. Double, I'm going to double check my microphone because I'm all ready to go. I'm all set up here. I got everything I need. My lighting is good. I didn't double check my microphone, so I'm going to check it now because I've become a paranoid person. That's just, that's.